This is an anti-tank mine, detonating with 10 kilos of explosives. This trial was carried out at the Explosives Testing Grounds in Ikshur in the southern part of Sweden as part of the tests of the Mechanical Mine Clearing System 1. But it could just as well have been a live situation with a Swedish soldier in the operator's cabin. Despite international convention's ban on anti-personnel mines, the mine situation in the world is growing more serious day by day. The number of mines being laid still exceeds the rate of clearing, and the total number around the world is estimated at over 100 million. Mine technology has developed considerably since those early pressure-fused devices of the 1940s. The most modern mines, for example, are electronically fused. However, the old-fashioned mines still constitute the main threat partly because many are still lying where they were placed during earlier conflicts and partly because they are still being used by most armies as they are inexpensive and easy to lay. Manual mine clearing is still the most common approach. A metal detector is used and when the presence of metal is detected the area is worked with a prodder. The metal object is then dug up and identified. More often than not, the find turns out to be a harmless metal fragment. Old battlefields often contain thousands of pieces of shrapnel. This makes the manual approach extremely laborious and time-consuming. Also, the vegetation in those stretches of land where mines had been laid is left to grow wild, further complicating and rendering more dangerous the job of clearing manually. Thus, in the future, the mechanical method of clearing mines will come to be used increasingly. In military and humanitarian operations, machines can help by reducing the risk for personnel, doing the job quicker, facilitating for following methods, and simplifying quality assurance. The Swedish Defense Material Administration, the Armed Forces, and Swedish EOD and D-Mining Center have been working to find the most efficient mine clearing machines. This has involved stringent trials at testing grounds in Ikshur. The various test areas there can be prepared in such a way as to ensure the same existing conditions for all the machines. That, together with the use of live mine fuses and inert mines, creates unique conditions for comparative tests. The trials on the testing grounds were supplemented with trials using live mines, as well as testing accessibility in various terrains, the ability to clear undergrowth, and maneuverability. The superior choice in large category demining equipment was the Scanjack 3500 with a double flail system. The Scanjack, a heavy mechanical mine clearing vehicle, is mounted on a standard forestry machine chassis from John Deere. This unit's been adapted and strengthened by the Scanjack AB and now incorporates, among other things, an armored protected cabin and a mine clearing unit. The mine clearing unit weighs 8 tons, bringing the total weight of the vehicle to 39 tons. Its work radius is 3.5 meters and its rate of clearance is a minimum of 300 meters per hour. The vehicle's road speed is 20 kilometers an hour. The heavy mechanical mine clearing vehicle shall protect its personnel from injury in a mine accident. The machine shall clear mines to a depth of up to 30 centimeters with a remote 90% clearance probability for anti-personnel mines and 99% for anti-tank mines. It shall have a capacity to clear an area exceeding 8,000 square meters a day with just one or two stoppages for refueling, inspection, and changing operators. The Scanjack has exceeded Swedish Army requirements and has demonstrated a 99% clearance rate for anti-personnel mines and a 99% clearance rate for anti-tank mines. This type of machine removes all of the vegetation and the ground is worked down to the desired clearance depth. Safety is the highest priority of the Swedish Defense Forces in mine clearing operations. 
This can be achieved through efficient clearing and good protection for the operator. The flail system is able to clear the ground close around obstacles. Another advantage here is that damage is minimal when the mine is detonated in the unit, since the main force of the explosion goes straight up between or in front of the chains. The driver sits securely strapped in a four-point safety belt, high above the ground in the armored cab. There are two escape routes. That, together with the broadly positioned wheels, means that this machine is well equipped to handle an accidental explosion. There are a variety of instruments at the driver's disposal. These include a depth control gauge, cruise control, as well as a system that warns the driver if the vehicle strays from the cleared path. The vehicle may be remote controlled if the risk involved warrants it, or when loading and unloading. The heavy mechanical mine clearing vehicle can be driven for shorter stretches, but for longer transports, it's loaded onto a trailer. To learn more about the Scanjack mechanical mine clearing system, please visit our website at www.scanjack.com or contact us at the numbers listed below.